I burnt my mouth on the soup. You know those days where you just wake up so sad or with low energy and you just can't quite get out of it even though you're rested, hydrated, nourished, exercised, got some vitamin D, like what more do you want from me? Anyways, I just sat in my feelings, my sad girl vibes, which I think I hide a lot of the time. And I decided what better day than this very sad day to finish this painting that I have been procrastinating on and has been haunting my life because I am honestly have been afraid to ruin it because I love, love, love the background so much even though that didn't take that much time and I could recreate it. I just don't want to. I want to just nail it. So I've been humming and hawing, slowly adding little layers because the final layer, I want it to have drips on it. So it kind of has to be the last layer because it'll disrupt the natural drips if I paint over it. Okay, so we gotta mix up some paint, pastels, a little bit of highlight and low light for her horns and hooves, and then we're gonna get started. Let's go. So I mix my paint in my kitchen because I have a really small house. I have these two little craft door storage tables and I just don't usually have this much stuff on them. And I'm just gonna mix them here. So I'm addicted to seaweed. I've been eating seaweeds and storing all the packages. And then they're disposable. This has some beautiful glitter in it right now. But I think I'm gonna actually use these for when I was addicted to these. Like, they're from Asia and they're kind of like jello. Oh, I didn't rinse that one out. But they have these weird chunks in them that I think might be tapioca chunks. So anyways, I'm just gonna mix into these cups and then I'll show you after. Everyone knows that. I feel like you could figure it out pretty quickly if you thought about it, but you don't just inherently know that, you know? A mistake. I bought all this way. I'm somehow out of white paint, so we're gonna use gesso and hope for the best. Gesso? Alright, so I'm a little bit worried about running low on paint, so I'm going to recoat the tail swoosh with gesso. I would just use white, but like I said, I'm out of white. The idea is that it's going to be like a prism, but dripping. I'm going to use my softest brush because I don't really want it to be messy. This one's the softest, but I think I need the size of this one. I'm going to use this one. So I have five colors. Remember the drips are part of it, so you don't want to fret about the drips. So while I'm painting, I'm going to tell you a little story from today. I was literally at this secret little beach access I like to go to and there's sometimes other people there but not always on a weekday and there was a girl there reading a book and her son had pretty far away so I was glad because I wanted to do some journaling but as soon as I sat down I just was bawling and I was so sad like deep 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 sorrow and I was thinking very very negatively and dark and I was so entrenched in my moment of suffering that I didn't even notice her like leaving the beach, walking towards me, which is really rare for me. Like usually my peripherals are pretty alert. And she was like, I think you need this more than I do. And kind of like broke my trance. And she had a canned beverage, like an alcoholic beverage. And I didn't want to drink it because I don't like drinking when I'm sad anyways, but obviously the gesture was so kind. and really like I felt like the universe sent me an angel in that moment because my place was or my mind was going to such dark places and I just think it's so interesting how the universe works like that like they'll just send you an angel when you're just at your darkest darkest moment and sometimes I wish that happened more often 
even when you weren't just sad but I've also been that person in turn like if you see someone really hurting or looking dark just interject like a brief little moment she said are you sure I said yes thank you have a good day and then she left and like her energy kind of reset my energy I was still sad after but that immense dark dark darkness was broken by her light so just keep in mind that little gestures can make a big impact on people's lives especially if they're not exposed to kind people very often or if they're not around people very often so they don't know that there's like good and beautiful sides to people anyways i just wanted to share that because it meant a lot to me today and i'm really grateful for that woman um, spreading love and light so now i'm gonna have to pay it forward to someone else because after finishing this painting i already feel so much better so if you're having a hard time just like hang in there i know when you're in the darkness it feels like life is a hard time and you're kind of like is this worth it like what is the point of this like why are we here doing this and are some people having a way better time because it kind of seems like it but we truly never know what other people are going through that was so fun check it out i'm gonna still put some finishing touches on it but i already feel happier art is such a vibe thanks for joining me i'll see you next time you should subscribe if you want to.